So today I will be sharing with you two sewing makes. They are both tops. The first one is an older pattern. It is Vogue 9297. I made few A. I made it out of a white cotton fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Some of the features. So this pattern has a centered back zipper. There are also ties. So the ties are sewn to the back of the top and then you tie them in the front. And the top of the bodice has darts. So in the front and the back there are darts. And this pattern is rated as very easy fold. Now some of the changes that I made. After I made the top, I found that I did not like the ties on me. I didn't care for where they tied once they were tied. <laughs> so it was kind of like they were a little too close to the upper bust area. And instead of changing it and making all those extra, you know, alterations, I just decided to just take the ties off all together and I ended up liking the top a lot better. The top does have a little flare at the bottom, so it's like the bodice has a skirt. So I thought that that was a cute feature. Now I must admit that this top is a little bit too big on me. So if I were to ever make it again, I would definitely go down a size. Something that I liked about this pattern is that it did call for a double fold bias tape. Anytime I've applied bias tape, it was always single fold. So I actually liked being able to work with the double fold because it was wider and it made it a lot easier to apply. So you apply the bias tape to the neckline and also to the armhole openings. So yes, I really, really liked using the double fold bias tape. Now, my next sewing make is also, like I think I mentioned before, is a top. It is one of the newer McCall's patterns. It is McCall's 8039. It's also known as the Lily pattern. And I made view A. So I did use two different types of fabric. So one is all white, it is a linen, and the other is like a some type of blend. It's a woven, it has a little bit of stretch to it. It's kind of cotton linen type fabric. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is some type of blend. And that uh, fabric is striped, so it's like a brown and white stripes. And I purchased that fabric, the brown and white strap, uh, striped fabric, from Fashion Fabrics Club online, and then the white linen fabric I purchased from Joann's. Some of the features, so this pattern has darts in the side front. There is also a front facing. There are four buttons, and these buttons go on the side. Three of them go on the side, and one goes on the inside. So you fold the top over, kind of like a jacket, and then you button it on the inside, and then you have the three buttons on the outside. There are also pleats on the sleeves. So I thought that was really, really cute and I didn't realize it until I purchased and got ready to make the pattern. I was like, oh, there are pleats on the sleeves, stop. So yeah, there's like four on each sleeve and I like that. This pattern is rated as easy. And the only changes, I didn't make very many changes, but all the hems, it was recommended in the pattern that the, that the garment was hemmed one and a half inch. But I didn't do that, I just did it one inch. So I did the one inch hem on the sleeve and also around the bottom of the top. Now another change that I made with the two different fabrics, for the front and the back of the garment, I used the striped fabric from the Fashion Fabrics Club online. And then for the sleeves, I used the linen fabric that I purchased from Joann Fabrics. And the other thing that I did different, well it was different for me, is that I just put brown buttons instead of like white buttons to match the garment. I just decided to use a contrasting color and I like the way it turned out. So I will go ahead and show you what these two tops look like on.
All right, so those are my two tops. I really, really love the way they turned out. I think my favorite out of these two would be the newest one, the McCall's Lily. I love the way that that top came out. All right, so before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. Let me grab my clipboard. This love share has to do with the state of Arizona and something I learned recently. There are cactus or cacti, I guess, in Arizona. And I learned that if you cut down a saguaro cactus, and I'll put a picture up somewhere, if you cut that cactus down without permission, that is actually illegal. And doing so could land you in jail for up to 25 years. What? I don't live in Arizona, but I just thought that that was very interesting to know. So I wanted to share that with you. So yeah, be careful if you are planning to cut down things in Arizona. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know. You can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.